Hi and welcome to a new video where I'm gonna go through everything that I crocheted over 2023. The pile is a bit bigger than I expected so let's dive into it. I have divided my makes into uh, the calendars in two separate batches. Then I have a pile for individual patterns as well as a pile for amigurumis and patterns that were released in the Happy Amigurumi Club. Let's start off with these guys. So last year in 2022, yeah, I decided to make a amigurumi calendar where for each month you would get a new pattern with for a small amigurumi. And during last year, 2023, I made YouTube tutorials for each of these amigurumis, which means that I have crocheted everything from the calendar once more. Here we have it. Here is the calendar. Uh, the patterns and the calendar is still available in the web shop as a physical copy but as well as a digital ones. I have uh, now golden thread in them because I have had them in my Christmas tree. So let's start off. We have a Christmas tree. We have Sigurd the Snail. We have a Thermos. We have a pine cone. We have a dragonfly, we have a crocus, we have a mitten, a lost mitten with a heart on, perfect for Valentine's Day. We have a chanterelle, a cloudberry, a fox, and I don't know where, there is stuffing in my box, and a ball. Finch. So that is the 12 first amigurumis that I have made during 2023. Let's jump over to individual patterns. So, oh, I have one missing. Just a second. And the year started off with this make and design. This is Nanook the Polar Bear in his fisherman sweater as well as his little fishing pole. Uh, this was the first time I crocheted anything with a component that wasn't just yarn because inside of this there is a chopstick. So that was fun. I will definitely incorporate other materials in my designs in the future as well. But this was the first of 2023. Then I participated in a collaborative crochet along hosted by Freddy the Goat. I made Ralph the Raccoon with his adorable beanie. I think he's, he's so cute. He's definitely one of my favorite. I don't know if I love the beanie color. I don't know if it matches him or not or if it's a little too big. Let me know what you think. But I really love the tapestry crocheted uh, body as well as the striped tail. This graphical look. I really like it. Then we have two ghosts. Sitting ghosts that I made during October. I released the pattern in October I believe. And they come with a pumpkin as well as a donut, as well as a witch hat. That is somewhere uh, in my boxes. One is a little bit taller and the other one is a little bit shorter and they can sit and they have dingling legs and they have shoes and you can if you want to make arms and have arms, hats for them so they can for example hold something like the donut or you could just leave it. Uh, I really, I really love how these turned out and they were really fun to make as well. Then let's go over to a Megumi calendar of 2024, aka this year's calendar that I designed last year, uh, which means that I designed 
12 new small amigurumis for the calendar. This is how the calendar looks like. There is still copies available if you want to grab one, as well as yarn kits for them. But yeah, let's dive in, uh, in no specific order uh, this time. So we have a, a jar of stardust, we have a moon, and if you can't tell, it's a space-themed uh, calendar with space-themed patterns. A star with golden thread in it, which was really nice. A pizza space slice. My friend's child <laughs> is calling this a blueberry pie. It can also be a blueberry pie, but in the pattern it says it's a space slice. Then we have a robot. He is called Late. We have a satellite, we have a UFO, of course, pink one, uh, that is February pattern, so the tutorial will arrive uh, next month in the beginning. Then we have a space chicken, because why not? Then we have Earth, or Planet B. Then we have a mysterious uh, also looks like a popsicle, like the top of a popsicle, <laughs> in my opinion. Looks very tasty. Then we have this rocket. It is designed by Daydreaming Maker. I hosted a design contest uh, for the calendar and the Daydreaming Maker's rocket won that contest. So that pattern is also available inside of the calendar. And then we have... Bob the Blob, alien, which is so cute. Uh, he was definitely one of the favorite characters in the calendar when I was at the Tampere Craft and Design Market. Uh, people just loved him. So there we have them, all 12. I think that these would look so cute as a uh, mobile for the baby stroller, is it called that? Stroller mobile. Uh, so maybe in the future I will make something like that, but yeah, or hang them in your Christmas tree. So if you are following along during this entire like yearly crochet along, kind of, uh, you will have 12 space themed amigurumis at the end and can put them in your Christmas tree or give them as gifts to people. Okay, last year I opened this community that is called Happy Amigurumi Club. It is the best thing. I have ever created. <laughs> I love the community so much. Inside of the community uh, you get to participate for free in my crochet along as well as get free amigurumi patterns during the year. So last year I designed a couple of patterns and amigurumis for my members. One of them was Happy the Monkey this will now be our iconic first ever Happy Amigurumi Club uh, design. I really love how she turned out. My pink yarn ran out, so she's a little scrap yarn project with different shades of yarn. <laughs> the body wasn't supposed to be striped, but because I ran out of the dark pink, I believe, um, I needed to figure out a solution. A couple of months later I also designed a banana hat for her and yeah, I just think it looks amazing. At the same time when the Amigurumi Club opened I also designed another pattern for my members which is this Ted Turtle pattern. I originally had five of them but I have managed to give them away to my niece and my nephew, the pink and the blue one. So I desperately need to make a couple of more in different colors so that I can have my little rainbow gang of Ted Turtles. Then we had a crochet along in July, I believe. <laughs> it was in July, the first crochet along. And during that crochet along, 
we explored a new mystery amigurumi and this time it was Emerald the Dragon. I got help from my members to name him her and I think the name is just perfect. Um, this amigurumi is special because it is crocheted in hand dyed yarn from Dying the Lion Yarns. It is Anna from Sweden who have dyed it for me several years ago. I don't think she dyes yarn anymore but yeah it is very nice it's also merino wool so it is not cotton that I usually work with uh, and it was surprisingly fun to crochet with so yeah I'm very excited so this is Emerald the Dragon then we had our October or Halloween crochet along also inside of the club and we made Venona the Witch. This is my first ever like doll amigurumi that I have made that isn't an animal that is supposed to look like a human. I was a bit scared I've been putting off making like doll like things because it's just I don't know I don't know it's just easier with animals I think um but yeah, I'm really happy with how she turned out. I really love the little collar that you can tie on the back, as well as her stockings that are striped. And yeah, the hair was also a lot of fun to make. I learned, I learned a lot because I haven't really uh, made dolls with hair before. I thought the hair would be much longer when I crocheted it, but it curled up a lot, <laughs> so it's way shorter than I was anticipating. But it's okay. I really like how she turned out and I think I might do some other dolls in the future as well. Maybe with some kind of theme. Then we have the last crochet along of the year. We made Dexter the dog, uh, inspired by Saffron because she usually sleeps in this kind of superhero pose. So yeah, I wanted to make a superhero post dog. He, the story behind it is that he has been stealing sausages from the kitchen during Christmas and he's, he's very happy with what he got. <laughs> so he has a little a sausage scarf that looks like this. And then he has some tapestry crocheted, uh, dots on the tummy, and yeah, he's really, really cute and whimsical. I love when they turn out that. Then I forgot one. So earlier last year, uh, I hosted another crochet along. The first crochet along of the year was in April, I believe, and we made Tom the Tiger together. So this is Tom the Tiger. I really love. Oh, he's just he's just so cute. He's named after my father Tom that loves reading chocolate and tea. So I think that was everything for this year. Uh, let's let's count. Uh, guess in the comments how many yamigumis you think it is in total. Thirty-nine. And if we count the ones I've given away, 30, 41, 41 amigurumis. That's, that's quite a batch. <laughs> I'm really happy. If you have ever thought about designing your own amigurumi, I'm hosting a free webinar on the topic next week. There is three different dates to choose from and I will walk you through my five step process of designing a unique amigurumi from beginning to end. So I highly recommend to go and check it out. It is totally free and has a ton of value. So I hope I'll see you then. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.